here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit like subscribe button like and subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend here we have another crazy story imagine that i mean i'm not trying to be funny in any way shape or form but i'm just trying to be realistic at least this is what i heard and this is what i experienced Thank goodness I only experienced it for a weekend. That weekend was that weekend was so long. Actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that long. I'm lying. I stepped it off. I stepped it off. Imagine that. Going in on Friday, sleeping off Friday night. You know, sleeping off Saturday night. You know, it's Sunday. You might be up for a little bit. You know. Up for a little bit, and then you sleep that off. Then you get caught Monday. Then you get out. You get bill. You get bill. Imagine that. Imagine getting bill. I tell you this right here. There's nothing better than getting bill once you go behind the bars. Cause keep in mind, it's like you living your life. You know. Next thing you know. You know. The police get you, they bring you to jail, you're behind the bars. You say, wow, I was just living my life. Good old life. I was about to, I was about to get ready to go to the club tonight. Now I have to be here? Thank goodness for Bill. But imagine not having any Bill. Imagine that. Imagine not having any bill and they say, you know what? You just have to sit here. I could only imagine. Imagine sitting there. That's when you realize, you know what? I have a rough idea of what it feels to be like a slave. Imagine that. Imagine feeling like a slave. Going from a multi-millionaire. Don't forget, I'm talking about a little dark. I'm talking about a little dark. Going from a multi-millionaire to now living like a modern 2024 slave. Believe it or not, a lot of individuals thought that slavery ended, which it did. It did. But when you go behind the bars, those rules do not apply anymore. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, go check it out. Go check it out. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, for example, for example, Lil Dirk right now, once he's behind the bars, you know he has to go through those probes. They're going to tell him when to take a shower now. How long to take a shower for? Who to take a shower with? Will little Dirk have the luxury of taking a shower by himself? Or will he just realize he's just a regular individual modern day slave? Who your life is being dictated by a next individual. You're being told what to do every second every minute every hour every day every week every month every year you know what i mean you know what i mean modern day 2024 slave but here's the thing right here here's the thing right here most individuals go out of their way to get to start living like that keep in mind keep in mind it's not forced upon you is if you decide that you want to live your life like a modern day, whatever year you're in, slave. No longer have the luxury of doing anything anymore. It's for probably sitting in your jail cell talking to your cellmates. Imagine that. I mean, I guess that's better than nothing. But what a life is that to live? Let's picture it. Lil Dirk right now, he's 20, 
I mean, he's 32 years old. Fairly young man. You know, he has money. His mind is different from a normal poor person, a poor slave. He's a rich slave. So his mind is different. So he's behind the bars right now. And what he's thinking, you know what? I have money. I'm trying to get a lawyer to get out. Not realizing that, no, that's not how it works. Imagine that. Imagine thinking you have enough money to solve all your problems. Delusional individuals. Because he had money to fly private jets. He had money to give other people. He had money to do whatever you want to do. Imagine that. Imagine having money to do whatever you want to do. But a little dirt, he said, you know what? I'm a gangster. I'm from the trenches. Keep in mind, little dirt. He's from North America. Some individuals say America, and a lot of individuals say one of the richest countries in the world. Think about it. Think about that. But little dirt was saying he's from the trenches, even though he's from one of the richest countries in the world and one of the richest ghettos in the world. They say most ghettos in other countries is much worse than ghettos in North America. For example, you have the luxury of having an indoor bathroom, indoor, um, just an indoor bathroom, in other countries, that would be considered a luxury in certain ghettos. But Lil Durk was consistently saying he's from the trenches. Trenches will be from the slums. But most individuals around the world will say, you know what? The slums is where you don't have the luxury of wearing any sneakers, for example. You have to walk barefoot. Imagine that. No shoes. Real slums. No refrigerator in your home. No bathroom in your home. No um, mirror in your home. No refrigerator in your home. You no know, anything in your home except for maybe a bed. And that's it. A lot of individuals say that's the real slums. But a little dirt. Consider his upbringing, which was a luxury, he considered it trenches. Unfortunately, right now, Lil Dirk is saying, you know what? I, was, I wasn't really in the trenches. I was in paradise because he's actually close to the trenches right now, which is in jail, the penitentiary. One thing about being behind those bars, you have to be behind those bars with individuals who go through all different type of life experiences. Imagine that. Imagine being around individuals who go through all different type of life experiences. Lil Dirt doesn't have the luxury of just kicking back, relaxing with his, you know, um, girlfriend or his, you know, child, one on one anymore. Lil Dirt has to be told what to do right now. And that's the real life of a gangster. Most gangsters have to be told to do right now. From the best of the best to the worst of the worst. I can't think of any one gangster right now who was so gangsterous where he was able to. How could I describe it? 
Well, who is apes to basically take on that monster right there? What that monster I'm talking about is a system. The system of justice. Imagine that. Imagine wanting to commit crimes and do turbo acts, turbo things. And at the same time, You want to say the system of justice doesn't apply to you. Well, I don't want to go too far off. But Lil Durk's a slave right now. Modern day slave. Being told what to do. When to do it. Imagine that. I thought he was a grown man. Thirty-two years old. Grown man. Being told what to do. That's crazy. But that's the life of a modern day slave. And unfortunately, once you decide that, you know what? I'm a tough guy. I want to commit crimes. Then you realize that um, you could, but there's a place for you. And it's called jail, penitentiary, whatever you want to call it. And then you got to understand that slavery never um, still going on. Little Dirk is forced to wake up every morning right now. I'm assuming he probably got to get up by 5 o'clock every morning. Probably gotta go to sleep by um they probably turn off the lights by um probably about 5 30 p.m. So between 5 30 p.m. and 5 30 a.m. Lord Dirk gotta figure what he gotta do. Keep in mind there's nothing but criminals there. He's in jail. He's at the place where he's been rapping about sending people what I mean sending people like you know when I see him you know when you see him do it when I do it 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 believe it or not they said if Lil Dirt did whatever himself he wouldn't have to worry about the death penalty but since he decided to since he was such a coward he decided to how your next individual do his crime for him, now he have to worry about death penalty for life in prison, bare minimum. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Why did he want to, why did he want to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it? He didn't want to do it. Unfortunately, that's a bad consequence. I'm just talking, but it's the truth. That's a bad consequences that comes along with not wanting to do your own personal crime. You have to do more time. Imagine that. Because I'm assuming that if Lil Dirt did the crime by himself, say for, they say he was in California. Say he just went by himself and he did it. Um, by himself. He probably just get 35 years, that's it. But the fact he hired people to leave states and this and that, these people say, you know what, that's a cowardly act. He's a coward, cowardly act. He could always do that at any time, whenever he wants. That's how we have to get him off the streets. But if he did it himself, he wouldn't have to worry about doing so much time behind the bars. He probably, believe it or not, thinking about thinking about it right now, he probably would have only gotten about ten years if he did it by himself. Think about it. Think about it. Ten years. For example, because he could have said, "Don't forget, I'm just talking. That's it. Entertainment purposes. That's it." 
He could have went to that hotel by himself and said, you know what? He tried to, he could have said whatever he wanted to say. Keep in mind, these individuals, they were, they were shooting from behind the bushes. Behind the bushes. So if Lil Dirk, I'm not condoning violence in any way, shape, or form. Why would I do that? Imagine going behind the bars. I wouldn't want to send anybody, send anybody there. I heard if, if a hurricane came, they're not going to let you out. They're just going to let you ride it out behind the bars. Hurricane. Don't forget you're a slave now. And don't forget, last of my trip, slaves was not treated properly. It was not treated properly. Imagine that. Imagine not. Imagine getting. Imagine not being tried. You know what I mean. Imagine not being treated properly. Imagine. Imagine getting treated bad. Imagine wanting sympathy after you want. After you want to take someone's life, separating from your family. Terrible world. Terrible thing. So a little dark right now, he's in a terrible situation. He's basically living a nightmare in reality. Imagine living a nightmare in reality. Imagine your freedom being taken away from you. Imagine wanting to take someone's life that didn't do anything to you. What type of individual are you? Who are you? You must be a monster. That's what I'm assuming. Imagine that. Imagine wanting to do something bad to somebody that ain't even doing nothing bad to you. It's a crazy thing. But it's the reality of what Lil Durst is going through right now. He's a coward. He decided to hire Hitman instead of doing it himself. You know. But justice needs to be served. And if Lil Dirk is going out of his way to not do things himself, not condoling any violence. But imagine sending individuals to do terrible acts for you. That's a terrible thing. You're a terrible person. If you hate someone that much, why not do it yourself? So Lil Dirk is gonna kick back relaxing in his jail cell and just pay everybody. He's gonna take, I mean, imagine that he's taking, he's, now he's taking care of his trenches. He's really taking care of his trenches right now. He's really taking care of his trenches right now. He wasn't taking care of his trenches before. He was taking care of paradise before. Indoor bathroom. Indoor, you know, this indoor plumbing in general is a luxury. Cause I said a lot of ghettos around the world, especially for black people, they don't have that luxury. They have the outdoor plumbing. Imagine that. Imagine using that well to get water. And I said in my last video, if you got a chance, check out my last video. I said the best part about it is Lil Dirk got a chance to um, convert to um, religion. One thing about religion, everyone believes different things, but whatever you do believe in, it can help you out a lot. You know, and Lil Dirk, unfortunately, he's in that position right now where his focus is not on this earth right here, it's on the afterlife. Imagine that. Imagine you focus being on the afterlife and not this reality. And you're still right here. 
But here's the thing right here, right? <clears throat> I don't want to get too religious. I don't want to get too religious. But I'm assuming father got love, little dirt. Why not? But unfortunately, sometimes you have to go through, the, you know, be you have to be tested and cleanse your soul and cleanse your heart to be purified, to really have that connection. And maybe a little dirt wasn't able to be purified and have that connection being free. Maybe he had to commit crimes in order to be purified. Imagine that. I'm just talking. Rest in peace to that young man. But I do know for certain using a credit card, a credit card Is it that serious? I mean, I mean, what are you gonna do? Are you, I mean, are you just gonna commit a crime and just brag to your friends about it? And then uh, you're a man now? I mean, exactly. I mean, how does that benefit anybody? Only thing it does is just have you have things to talk about amongst your friends who are really not your friends. It's a terrible life. It's a terrible thing. But it's reality. One thing about reality, If you don't live right, it could be like a nightmare. I'm quite certain Lord Dirk right now. Imagine that. Imagine being behind the bars right now. The only option you have, death penalty or life behind the bars. I think life behind the bars. Why not? I try I'm gonna try to free myself. I try to break out. Why not? Free me! Free me! But once I get out, I probably be out there for only about a couple of days. You know, things gonna get me. Imagine that. 